So in this video, we're going to be going over how implementing bar chords or just, you know, full chords in general to your black metal guitar playing can really enrich in the atmosphere a bunch. You know, not only do you get a bigger sound, but you get a more variety of notes within the wall of sound when you're playing fucking guitar and shit. brutal black coffee all right so we're in the key of b minor standard tuning all right so first chord obviously b minor and by bar chord if you're not familiar it's just basically pressing down on all the fucking strings all right <clears throat> so your base your uh, index finger is basically acting like a capo all right so my index finger is barring down all of the second fret as such, all right? So, obviously I have my index finger on the second fret of the E string, second fret of the A, and then I have my ring finger down on the fourth fret of the D, pinky down on the fourth fret of the G, uh, fuck you finger, middle finger on the third fret, of the B and then my index finger comes all the way down to the second fret of the high E so I'm hitting all the strings and when I'm strumming or tremolo picking this I like to start up on top and just tremolo pick the bassy strings and then swivel my way down to the higher strings Something nice and Spanish -y. All right, and then the next chord, you're gonna keep your index finger barred down on the second fret. And I'm just gonna lift up my ring finger and pinky and bring them up to the fourth frets of the A and D string, All right? So now we have our index finger barring down on the second fret, ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, and pinky on the fourth fret of the D string. And then the G, B, and E strings are obviously all barred down with index. And this chord right here would be the F sharp minor. All right? So the first chord we got B minor with F sharp on the bass. And then now we have F sharp minor. All right? So those two together. All right, and then the next chord, we're just gonna keep this same shape, but slide it over a half step. I need to get better lighting and shit. All right. So you step over half step, now you're gonna be doing a G major. A happy chord within all this fucky light. Uh, a happy chord within all this um, minor tonalities and minor chords. It adds a cool little contrast and melody. And when it comes to atmospheric black metal and back black metal in general, for me, melody is key. Alright, so the G major chord. Now we're going to be barring, instead of in the second fret, how we were in the beginning, we're going to move it up to the third fret. So, index finger on the third fret of the E string, ring finger on the 5th fret of the A, and then pinky on the 5th fret of the D, and then index finger pressing down on the remainder of the G, B, and E strings on the 3rd fret. And I forgot to mention the middle finger is going to come down to the 4th fret of the G string. So a happy sounding chord. All right. So, these three. And then in this chord progression I wrote for you guys to practice your bar chords, I'm gonna come back to the B minor, which is the first chord. The way I'm picking this, tremolo picking this, 
Um, you could go all out, all of. It's your preference ultimately. But what's cool for me is I start on the bassy strings and then work my way down to the high strings. You could also do arpeggios. Just giving you guys ideas with these lessons, all right? And then the last two chords, it's uh, they're gonna be triads. They're not gonna be bar chords, all right? So the next chord, after you play B minor again, you're gonna have your middle finger, third fret of the E, index finger, second fret of the A, pinky, fifth fret of the D. It's another variation of uh, G major. Boom, and then you slide that same shape down to the fifth fret. But here, you can add a little melodic twist to it. So, with my middle finger being on the fifth fret of the E, index on the fourth fret of the A, and pinky on the seventh fret of the D, I'm gonna go boom. I'm gonna bring my ring finger down to the sixth fret of D string, and bring my pinky up to the seventh fret of the A string keeping my middle finger on the 5th fret of the E string and then uh, damn fretless and then uh, index finger I'm going to bring it down to the 4th fret alright of the G string cool now I'm going to be playing a clip for you guys how this sounds like with drums and vocals in the background 